But even with the the bridge, ready right memory grow. Here it just goes up the road. Top of memory grow, the road curves slightly to the right, goes through a gate. We go left on the the road, get on the shoreline trail, through the rocks, past the pond, and up onto the trail. Here's the bike jump park, if you go by that, there's a branch off to the Morris Meadows Trailhead, but we say on the BST. Across that trail. Across another trail. It's like downhill. Still going up and around. Bunch of little faint trails. Keep branching off. But uh, just stay on the main trail. Around the hairpin turn. Back in this wooded area. There we go. Great views of the sea. There's a water tank on our left. We're gonna go left right around it. A bunch of trail junctures here. We go left, uphill. Cresting one. Headed to the second one. Big one. Oh. After the second hill, branch right to stay on the Bonneville Shoreline Trail. Coming off the Traverse Part, Shoreline Trail in the course, go left, coming up to a major junction. This is the start of the Bonneville. Here we go. Off the BST. Here's the saddle. First point that we get on the ridge. Up and over this first little bump. And we get to go through the roller section. This is where the course takes a little shortcut. Going up to second bump. Take our second shortcut. Kind of cuts the hill off a little bit. The shortcut almost goes back to the saddle. Then uh, stay on the shortcut. But it crests, gets flat, feeling good. Another hill, but there's an upwards angling shortcut that uh, eases the hill off a little bit. little black, hit a little flat spot here at roughly 66.50 in elevation. Going to little black, steep dirt. There's a couple times the, tra 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 the trail divides off. Uh, take either way. They come back together again. Still going up. Got up to the top of that. There's the false summit. The little black mountain. Where is the false summit? Here's a couple. A little bit of snow there. Some footprints. Looks like some other runners have been up here. A couple little scrambly sections before we look at the trail. Follows close to the ridge. Still on the trail, and on top of the ridge. Technical running. All right, a little craggy section. I had a little jump down that I didn't video because that would have been hard on you guys. It's probably bumpy enough. It's a little foot spot.
Nice little warm up for the next little section here. Summit, Little Black Mountain. Right. Took a little view. Now we're headed over the top of Little Black Mountain. A little rocky. Now all the downhill runners get to try to catch up to the uphill power people. With someone to chase along the way. Still some snow on the course. This will all be melted by race day. Over the last little bump, trails underneath this snow, but it's there. There it is. Now I get a nice steep, rocky descent. Smuggler's Gap. Usually there's an aid station right there. Grab a little water, an M and M or two, and head down to City Creek side. Great day. This will be all covered in green. It'll be hard to see where your foot is. Right now visibility is pretty good. But expect this to be green foliage. But, uh, that's where we came down. Smuggler's Gap Trail. Over here, follow the ribbons. Make a sharp right. Over the bridge. And back across again. Back to the south side of City Creek. Coming out the trail. It's the top of Rotary Park. From here, head down the road. See a couple miles. Here's the City Creek. Water treatment plant. A couple corners. That's the water treatment plant. Picnic area 17. Go off the road, finally. Taking in some of the views of City Creek. Sometimes there's an aid station here. Short uphill. This is the juncture of the shoreline trail. Straight over the crest. Here we go left, leaving the BST for a bit. To the road in Sand Creek. It comes out, go straight through the intersection. The road after a big curve or so, turn hard left. Across the pedestrian bridge, turn hard right. Take a hard right. Some fresh wood chips in. 